All right. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you guys are all doing well today. I've got a pretty quick one today, just a couple quick articles. I've got some jellyfish clones, I've got a small moon, and I've got some newly discovered birds. Let's get into it. A Chinese jellyfish, the peach blossom jellyfish, has invaded many of British Columbia's coastal waters and lakes. So the jelly has been spotted in 34 places in BC since the 1990s. So far, they have examined 100 jellies, and genetically, they're all the same, meaning they all of the current outbreak was more likely due to one clump of jellies and it spread from there. They have found signs of them in ponds, quarries, lakes, uh, but not in creeks or rivers. And lastly, their stingers are too small to puncture human skin, so they are pretty safe to be near. I'm gonna go straight into the moon. A tiny asteroid will become Earth's partner for around 50 days. The new mini moon will be ensnared by Earth's gravity at the end of September and hang around our orbit till the end of November. So the asteroid was spotted by ATLAS, which is the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. It sits at about 33 feet wide and ATLAS tracks around 28,000 asteroids surveying the night sky daily. Now uh, straight into the birds. Two birds were discovered in New Guinea. These birds have evolved to store powerful neuro toxins in their feathers, making them poisonous. So they consume toxic foods and somehow get the toxins into their feathers. Their toxin is batrachotoxin. I'm not sure if I got that right, which is similar to the one found in the poison dart frogs in Africa. These toxins can cause muscle cramps and cardiac arrest with a slight touch. They state the birds mutated independently from the poison dart frogs, and the way it works is they have a mutation in the genes that regulates sodium channels and that allows them to handle the toxins. So pretty cool birds. Pretty cool moon, you know, you gotta have a new moon for a little bit, and then some Chinese jellyfish clones are invading Canada. So, you know, I hope you guys all enjoyed these articles. Tell me your thoughts on them in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.